I'm Teacher Mike, and this is part one of a three-part series that I am making about 26 words that we can use to talk about fall or autumn. There are 26 words because we are going to do one word for each letter of the alphabet. Today we are looking at letters A through H, and in parts two and three, we will look at the rest of the letters. Starting with A, we have autumn. Sometimes we say autumn, sometimes we say fall. Some people say that fall is American and autumn is British, but that's not really true because both words have been used by British people for hundreds of years. And when they came to North America, they brought both words with them. However, it is true that nowadays the word autumn is more common than the word fall in the United Kingdom. And the word fall is more common than the word autumn in the United States. So yeah, American people usually say fall, but sometimes we say autumn. And British people usually say autumn, but sometimes they say fall. The word autumn is just a bit older and a bit more formal sounding. And for B, we have bonfire. A bonfire is just a very big fire that we create either to burn trash or to celebrate something. Nowadays, we have the holiday Halloween, but that originated or it came from another much older holiday. And in that holiday, bonfires were very important. For C, we have costume. Costumes are what people wear on Halloween. When you wear a costume, you try to look like something that you are not. So obviously, I am a human, but if I want to look like a pumpkin, I can buy a pumpkin costume. A costume is not the same as a uniform. A uniform is something that you wear so that people can see that you are a part of something, part of a team or part of a company. For D, we have deciduous. Deciduous is an adjective that we usually use to talk about plants or whole forests. When we say that a plant is deciduous, this means that it loses its leaves. Its leaves fall off one time per year. In North America, this happens in the fall, but in some countries, this happens during the dry season. For E, we have equinox or equinox. This is a day where night and day are the exact same length. Each year, the fall equinox is on either September 22nd or September 23rd. And after the fall equinox, each day has more hours of darkness than sunlight. For F, we have flannel. I am wearing a flannel shirt. This shirt is flannel. Flannel is the material. However, usually when we say flannel, we're not actually talking about the material. We're actually talking about the pattern that you see on this shirt, which is called plaid. So most people, when they say flannel shirt, they actually mean plaid shirt. For G, we have goosebumps. Goosebumps are the little bumps that pop up on your skin when you are either cold or scared. You might say to your friend, oh wow, you have goosebumps, you should put a sweater on. Or maybe something was really scary and you might say, it was so scary that it gave me goosebumps. And for H, we have harvest. As a verb, harvest means to collect the fruit or the vegetables or the grains from the plants that you have been growing. We have finished growing all of our rice. Now it is time to harvest it. As a noun, it means either all of the food that you harvest, that you collect, or the process of collecting it. My whole family 
helped with the harvest this year. So yeah, that's A through H for our fall or autumn vocabulary. Again, we'll talk about I through Z in the next two videos. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.